Hello everyone, welcome back to another edition of the Senior Spotlight. I'm Brady Beaton, joined by Senior Tight End Nick Potterack. Nick, how's it been going? How's it feel going into your sixth year of football? What's that like? Uh, words can't explain it. Words really can't explain it. Um, I remember literally yesterday, it feels like I was a freshman here, uh, wide-eyed, learning everything about Wayne State, um, new to the program, and uh, I've been seeing you mm -hmm. there as well, but um, it's awesome. It's a humbling experience. It's a great experience. I've had the best times of my life, made some of the best of friends, and I wouldn't change it for the world. A sixth year senior, you see that a lot, people using the COVID year and things like that to get a sixth season. Talk about your decision to come back for a sixth year because as a lot of the former players know, that's a lot of football, that's a lot of wear and tear, but it's also one of your last chances to play football. What went into your decision both on the field and academically to come back for one more season? Uh, on the field wise, uh, I wasn't satisfied with last year. Uh, I knew this team had a lot more potential, a lot more. Um, we could definitely brought the community, the Wayne State Warrior football family as well. Um, there was definitely a lot more left on that field than I thought that we definitely had the potential to reach. Um, so I wanted to come back. I wanted to be a leader on this team, um, still be a leader, um, show that we're capable of more, and uh, we're ready to we're ready to take on anyone that comes our way. Uh, academically, I'm uh, pursuing an MBA right now, and so I wanted to finish, get my master's degree, and uh, it's a focus in management, and uh, hopefully that can help me out with my career. Talk a little bit more about what you're doing after football in a minute, but you came back with a few other sixth-year guys. How much does it help that you're not the only guy left in your class, you get to keep a few friends yeah. along for that last sixth year? Uh, it's awesome. Helps out with the ride. I don't feel like quite such the old guy here. Um, I got a few guys, Cooper Kukul, Isley, name a few, uh, Sean Banizak. Um, it helps. It helps a lot. You got guys that know what it's like to be here, the time you put in, all the hard work. So they got other voices that can lead out and say, hey, like we've done the work. We know what it takes to be successful, and uh, this is the process in which we need to go. So it, it's definitely an honor to have them back. It's fun to have them back, and uh, let's, uh, let's go out with a bang one more year. Talked about it a bit right there, but what is the role of a 60-year guy being here for so long? You, I mean, you know the, this program inside is out, out. You've been here longer than most of the coaches have at this point. You've seen a lot of turnover. What's it like being the 60-year guy that everyone looks to when things are either going well or going wrong? You're the guy they're looking to. Um, quite frankly, leadership. Uh, like you said, when things are going right, they're going to look to you and say this is either the success that you guys have had or the, the model that you've set up or you think is the right way. And when things are going wrong, people are going to look to you and say, hey, you've been here long enough. What is it going to take to fix it? And as a six-year, it's we've seen what it takes. Uh, been a part of the 2019 team, knew what it takes to be successful. So we kind of say, hey, this is what it truly takes to be a successful team. This is what it takes to be a not so successful team. And, uh, and so... And in terms of leadership, it also um, energy. Like I, I know how to bring. I love bringing energy to the team, even though I, people call me an old man. Uh, um, I love bringing energy to the team. Being six years, I know sometimes when you're looking at practices, you can tell when like tempo is not there, the energy is not there, and sometimes I like to add a little bit of a spark to there to get the practice going. Now you mentioned earlier you're going for your masters. Uh, what is life after football looking like for Nick Potterack? Uh, well, hopefully life after. If uh, football or college football, hopefully there's a dream to chase there. But um, professionally wise, uh, I have a currently have a bachelor's degree in construction management, um, and now I'm pursuing an MBA in focus in management. And I'm hoping to maybe one day later on down the road own my own company. But I'd like to work for one of the bigger chains in construction in Detroit, or maybe even around the world to see where it takes me. Uh, and what sparked kind of getting an MBA was uh, I, I learned I did a project one year for an internship with my construction degree, and um, I saw that there was a Ford uh, mm. constru head construction guy there, and I was like, wow, that's pretty cool. I didn't know that an um, automotive company, obviously I know that they grow, but I wasn't right. sure uh, how much, or they, they even had a construction department, so I thought maybe if I can work for the big three in their construction department one day, get a management degree with my MBA, that should help me out. What's your time been like at Wayne State? What's been one of your favorite memories here? And what do you hope to finish up your, your final senior season with? Well, uh, time's been great. Time's been so much fun. I would, Like I said, I wouldn't change it for the world. I've had a blast here for six years. Uh, favorite moment, uh, you were there, <laughs> GV. Man, that was, 
that was the cherry on top. That 2019 season, it was it was surreal. Beating them, beating them at home, just shutting them out, just quieting down that stadium and just absolutely getting back the shoes. That was the best moment I can I can honestly remember here. Um, and yeah, that's that's something that I will never forget. The time here is that moment. Well, Nick, thank you so much for joining me. Good luck the rest of your season. Stay healthy, and, and good luck in your professional career. That's been Nick Potterack. I've been Brady Beaton, and that's your senior spotlight. You're listening to WDTK, The Patriot.